Okay guys, so couponing. Couponing 101. So part of the reason that my couponing works so well with what I do is because I come up with a dinner calendar. Um, this one is planned out until the end of September from now. Um, but I only do like the two weeks from the pay period. Today is payday at our house. And so I go from today, the 23rd of August, until um, payday on the 6th of September. So I plan out the meals that I want in those weeks. And I don't always do the meals on those days. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I really don't want that. I'd rather have this. So I switch them. But I get the ingredients and the things that I need for those meals for those days. And then I take these ingredients, or the recipes in here, and I write down the stuff that I need. Now, you can't always get all of it um, in one trip because sometimes, like if you want French bread pizza um, two weeks from now, you don't want to buy your French bread today. So for this section, I start with what I need for dinners, and then I go through the apps for the week. Uh, I'll start with Smith's. So I go through Smith's ad and see like this week again, they have $5 and you get $5 off on the cereal, which makes it $1.49 without a coupon. And so, I, like I said before, with the coupons you can get it for 99 cents. So go on, I usually go on Smith's um, website and they have a digital coupon thing that loads onto your Smith's loyalty card. It's not a credit card or anything, it's just one of those loyalty cards, your Smith's card, you take it in, put your phone number in, and it has those automatically come up. So I go and see if there's a And the other thing is, cereal to Smith's, when you go through the line and you pay for things, make sure you check the coupons that print out because sometimes they do that, like the $2 off the five. When I bought cereal the last time, it gave me that. Also, let's see, they have Gushers, Betty Crocker Fruit Snacks, I know there's a coupon for these right now. I don't know if it's still good today, but I'm gonna check that. Um, but I just go through and I find the things that are on my list that I need. I'll get on the computer and show you guys where to go on coupons.com and Smith's so that you can get your coupons and just print it out on your computer, on your printer, and okay. take it with you. So you guys, when you go online and you go to Smith's, you can just go to Smith's, um, smithsfoodanddrug.com, and in it, if you go here and click to the savings, they have their digital coupons, um, and it comes up. And like I said, on this one, they have their Big G cereals. Save a dollar on two. That means you save 50 cents on each one of those. Which, with our coupon, or with our ad, we know they're a dollar 49, makes them 98 cents. Same thing with the Kellogg's, makes them 98 cents. So you would click both of those. I'm not signed in right now. But I just wanted to show you guys, like these Nature Valley products too, that makes them... Um, 98 cents as well. So if those are on your list, that's a super good thing to get. Um, there's also, yeah, the Gushers that makes them two for a dollar because they're only 99 cents on this. So when you buy two, you get two of them for the price of one. Great deal. Just you go in here, you click on these, and then you load straight to your card. Um, and see, this is the available savings. That's if you added every coupon in. So let's go here to coupons.com and you go in here. You do have to sign up and sign in. It's well worth it. They don't send you a bunch of junk or anything, but you can go in and if you're specifically searching, like see they have the Nature Valley too. So then you can use double coupons. You can take one that you printed out and you can use the one at Smith's. Um, you can go in by category. So if I'm looking specifically for food. Um, it will bring up all the food items and then you just click and print so I actually probably will click this and print that the other thing like sometimes these specialty ones are still on those sales like the dollar 49 if you buy five so I just grab them just in case um, they happen to be there mini wheats they're usually on there um, yeah so I'll grab those and just see if they happen to be on there I'm at my limit for most of these General Mills ones. <laughs> so we'll get the save a dollar in any three. That's still better than anything. But see, yeah, I've reached my limit on the um, big G and stuff already. So they won't let me print it out. You, I think they let you print it out twice. 
each one and then they don't let you print it out anymore so I've done those and then you just click print it will prepare to print and you just print it out and it'll print right there on your computer make sure you do the color printing though because they have this little watermark and they won't accept them unless they have that print there and then also let's see if I can remember where the Walmart one is okay so Walmart weekly ads oh sorry my printer is probably loud um, weekly ads coupons right here so you go in sorry you go in there and it will tell you it has those same ones on there so if you can print them from here as well as long as they don't say just use at Walmart you could use those at Smith's and wherever as well okay so I forgot one other thing so on my list this time I have dish soap and there were no coupons on any of those things for dish soap so you can go in and just type in the product like the label of your dish soap that you like and just go and see if they happen to have any coupons I did that I clicked on here and it took me here and they have 50 cents off um, it's not much but 50 cents is 50 cents you do have to sign in and become a member um, you can set up a separate email that if you want just for these because they will start sending you stuff but sometimes it's good so that's up to you but that's another way that you can get coupons um, if they don't show up like I've done this for dog food um, soaps just things like that if they're not on the coupons.com you can check them out and just go to the websites and you may find coupons you may not but if you need that little extra it all helps so just another tip for you okay hey guys this is the next step of the couponing once you have all of your coupons printed out um, and like for Smith's if you go on there's a thing next to where the digital coupons are that says my coupons if you click on that you can go to print your coupons and that way it shows all of the coupons that you have loaded on your card because the coupons on your card come off first um, before you would use any of these so sometimes that's the only thing that can get a little bit confusing so if you're going to Smith's take this take a pen um, get your items and check them off here first put them in your basket and then if you have stuff left um, that you need to get get coupons those items and take them out of your coupons as you go. At least that's how I do it. Um, but once you have all of your coupons printed out, the next step is you need to cut them. So I would suggest investing in one of these. Uh, this way you can cut more than one page at a time. It makes it a little bit faster and believe me when you cut with scissors, your hands get tired. But all cut out, um, separate them into your stores. Like you have your list, you've looked through your ads, you've done your homework, you know which stores you're going to for what. So I like to separate them into stores. This time I'm doing a special one just for cereal because that is going to be the main thing that I'm going for and I have a lot of coupons for it. So I'm going to have my cereal one for Smith's and then my other stuff for Smith's, my pile for Smith's, my pile for Walmart, my pile for Lee's. And then um, I just I keep an extra pile that's just kind of stuff that I think about getting sometimes. And if it's I see it and it's on a deal and I have a coupon for it, then I might get it then. So I just keep that. You hear me talk about this all the time. This is the reduced section. These are all 99 cents back. So since I've been getting strawberry jam, I will make jam. Get two for two bucks. Um, 
manufacturing coupon savings. We saved $9.50. Fresh value savings from the store, we saved $48.07. That's by getting stuff that's just on sale. And then um, that's also with their coupons. So the total savings was 55%. We saved $57.57 and paid less, $10 less, almost 10 almost exactly $10 less than what we saved. Yeah, so this is showing, and this is not just like, just cereal. This is with chicken and with this meat. This meat cost $8. I had a $2 off coupon for it, so it cost $8. The chicken didn't have anything on sale, but it was only $7.50. The cheese was on my list too. I got those, they did have a coupon for a dollar off, so I got those for 99 cents. Um, so most of this stuff, remember all of the bagged stuff was 99 cents a bag, mangoes, the um, strawberries and the potatoes, potatoes which were on my list, all were 99 cents. Um, we did get the rolls for dinner for the next couple nights for a dollar. Um, and then yeah, some fruit snacks for the kids for lunches because they were only, what, two for a dollar? Two for, yeah, two for a dollar lots of cereal and some chips or crackers. So this shows you what you guys can do. I still have a couple other stores to go to to get the rest of my stuff, um, but hopefully this helps you guys. Let me know how you guys did. If you guys go, let me know how you did. You All guys, right. couponing, it seems a little daunting at first. I'm sure that this is a lot of information in a short period of time, but just try it. If you were gonna try it one time, right now, Smith's has that deal. It started today, Wednesday the 23rd of August. So if you go in and you print out all your coupons, you get load them onto your card, go and just start there. Try it with that. Um, you'll get, you should get each box for about 98 cents. So try it, see if you like it. Comment down below and let me know if it worked for you. If you enjoyed it, if you hated it, some people, couponing just isn't for them. It takes too much time. They'd rather just go get the thing and get out. For me, it's kind of a necessity. Um, and seriously, you guys, this is like free money. If you saw a dollar on the side of the road, would you pick it up? You probably would. So that's like what this is. This is $2 that you just found in on the side of the road. So hopefully this helps, guys. Like I said before, um, comment down below and let me know how your trip went. Hopefully it goes well. So... We'll see you on the other side of today.